come on, let's do this, baby. So in this video, we're gonna be making a tail tidy kit for my Triumph Street Scrambler 900. I've never been a fan of this big bulky rear end, so all I wanna do is just make it a little bit smaller, a little bit nicer, a bit more refined, and of course, make it bespoke. And we're gonna be using some really cool techniques like 3D scanning and 3D modeling to make some really cool parts, which could potentially make production parts, but let's see how we go and yeah, enjoy the video. So in order to make this work, we need to take the whole rear end off, unbolt it all and then clean it up so we can actually mask it off and then get the scanner in there. That means we have some location mounting points that we know where we can use. Uh, we can actually get the profile, the size of everything. And yeah, hopefully be able to use that in a digital space where we can actually make some parts. So a little bit out of my depth with kind of the technology, but it's going to be cool to use and kind of cool to see what we can create. So yeah, first thing we've got to do, take it all apart. So what I've done is put this back on, this rack, tied it all up just to kind of, because that's planning on staying. And already just having this space here looks so much nicer. Don't get me wrong, it is missing something now, but you know what, I like it. But the plan is just to go simple with this and just kind of have a very subtle mud guard with an integrated tile light and indicators to suit. So this is something we can scan, 3D model, print, and then manufacture properly. I personally think this bike doesn't need much more on the rear. It just needs to be really slim down and subtle. Let me know what you think. Now we've got everything off, let's take a look what we're going to be replacing the brake light with. So this here, this is the brake light we're going to be using. And it's a high side, uh, I don't know which model it is. This is CNC aluminium. It's got that logo on the end of it there. But I think this is just going to look spot on. Something along the lines of that. So let's find a location we like before we get the big guns out. This here is a very expensive 3D scanner. So we're about to do some scanning and in order to do a really good scan, it needs to be either a matte surface or just bright. So what we're going to do is an attempt to use some baby powder and cover it and give it a bit more of a dull finished surface. And hopefully that will give us the points of reference that we need to scan. So yeah, let's have a go. Sponsored by Johnson's Baby Powder. So after scanning the area, we found the best mounting spots and after jumping into Fusion 360, we managed to come up with this. So let's get it printed out of PLA and see if it fits. This prototype looks spot on. It's exactly how I thought it would look. Not too far out, not too far down, just enough so it's, so it's visible. You can see how much of a, a difference things are with terms of sizing and stuff. We've got the indicator stalks printing now uh, and I'll glue them in because I had to do those in a two part. Here's the version one I did with the indicators um, built in. Now, this is a little bit of a logistical nightmare when it comes to 3D printing because of all the infill um, printing inside these and not being able to access them. Hence why I've printed them in separate pieces now and then now these will be glued on. I've made them slightly wider just to fit for legal UK standard 180 millimeter wide indicators. I've put a hole here now to route the cables, but I'll go over the final design and you can let me know your thoughts. So we're just waiting on the number plate bracket to actually be laser cut and bent. That's going to be the metal part that actually holds the number plate. But yeah, when that arrives, I'll put it all together and I'll explain what exactly is happening with it. Let's finish assembling the test print and see how it looks. The plan is to print it out of carbon fiber filament as it's strong, easily replaceable, and most of all, cheap. Right, let's get back to business. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Is that any, any good? Yes. Right, so we're back and I'm really happy with this prototype version of it um, just to kind of see how it mocks up and I'm really liking the look of it. These are a little bit on the wobbly side because I haven't really uh, glued them in properly. So 
But with the carbon fiber one, I've got some stuff which will literally cement them together so they won't be coming loose. Next thing we need is this aluminium piece. This is in two metal aluminium and the way I've got this working, it uses these mounting points right there. But as you can see, it's flat. So what we need to do is introduce a bend just under here, a nice little angle bend, bring that down. And yeah, we can get this all fully assembled. With everything prepared, I got to work disassembling the test print and transferred it over to the final, stronger part. So we've got it on and I think it looks awesome. I was a bit unsure like this kind of styling would have suited this bike, but I think because now it's all hidden away and you can only see what you need to see, it just works. As you saw, we just put this number plate light on. Um, I do need to do a little bit of work just to kind of like trim the bolt back and tuck the wiring away. So I might do that at a later date, but for now I just want to focus on the wiring side of this thing. So I've bought a new plug set, which will hopefully make it plug and play for the Triumph um, Street Scrambler. I'm gonna have to sort out all the, the wire lengths and see what we've got and yeah, get this thing all illuminated and see what it looks like when it's actually lit up and working. I am so happy with how this looks. This thing I have just built from my own imagination. Don't get me wrong, if I was to make this into a production part, I'd change a few things, make it a little bit more easy to kind of manufacture and also just an easier kit to put together. I won't lie, I actually had a problem with the wiring. I made it just slightly too short, so I've had to make a connector piece using the original wiring for now, but it works, that's the main thing. It's, uh, it's a proof of concept. You can make things that you think look good. To make something that is a little bit different, a little bit unusual, but at the same time, perfectly functional. Uh, the only thing we're missing is the number plate, but I'll put that on at a later date. I'm so happy with the high side of towel light. The Kellerman indicators, they are shockingly bright. So I'm not too worried about not being seen because these things, as I say, are ridiculously bright. I'd love to know what you guys think. I'd love to know if this is something that you'd consider having on your street scramblers or if there's any other design changes that you'd make. Let me know down below in the comments. Let's start a conversation. This is always fun to kind of like get stuck in and see what other people would do and how they do things differently. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I can't wait to share with you some other projects we've got going on. We've got a couple of bikes in, we've got a couple of things going on. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.